Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a picture-in-picture -picture video scene using DaVinci Resolve video editing software, which is freely available as a download from the Blackmagic Design website. If you haven't got it already, head over to the website and download it, link in the description box below. There's a free version, which I'm demonstrating how to use today, and there's also a paid version, which unlocks some of the more advanced features. But the free version here has more than enough features for most video editing applications, and certainly to be able to handle different forms of picture-in-picture -picture video editing. We're in DaVinci Resolve and I've already dragged my content into the media pool. If you haven't done this yet, simply go into the file option, click import and media, or drag all of your content in from your computer's desktop or folder location directly into the media pool window. Make sure that you're on the third tab here, the edit mode because everything I'm doing here is in the edit window. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag the picture and picture background onto my timeline. So that's going to appear on layer one for this first example. When I drag a static image onto the timeline, you can see it's very thin. So you need to use the plus minus arrows just in this section here in order to view your content and then you need to expand it out by moving your mouse onto the right hand corner of the clip and just dragging to the right in order to make the length of your static image longer. The other thing to note about this image that I'm using is that it isn't in the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So I'm going to click on the image and then in the transform window, I'm going to zoom in and expand the image so that we get it to appear over the full width of the window. So now that we've done that, I'm going to drag my first video clip onto the next layer, number two, and that now is appearing on top of that background layer. So we want that to appear as a picture in picture window instead. It's very easy. You could actually just resize it and position it using the transform tool, but there's a little bit of work involved in doing that. So instead of doing that, we're gonna take advantage of one of the effects in DaVinci Resolve. In order to do that, click on the effects control panel on the top left-hand corner, then tap on the effects submenu, and then drag the DVE effect onto the timeline. And you'll see that it automatically scales and positions your video footage into the top right hand corner, places a border around it and a drop shadow, which is ideal for a picture in picture effect. You can go into the effects options on the top right hand corner here by clicking on the effects icon. And you can see that we have the DVE effect highlighted. I can click on this to turn it off to go back to our original footage, click on it again to preview the effect. And then we have different versions of this picture in picture effect. We're on number one at the moment. If I click on number two, it positions the window to the top left, number three, the bottom left, number four, the bottom right, and there's number five, which kind of puts it in a full screen view mode with a slight skew and perspective which can make for a very interesting picture in picture effect. And then you can use the zoom option to zoom in and out if you want to continue with that particular effect and the positioning option in order to change the position on the screen. But I wanna go back and click on number one for a picture in picture window on the top right hand corner for now. The next thing I wanna do is to change the border. So I'm going to click on the border option and change the color from gray to a green, click on OK. I'm also going to adjust the corner radius until we get the desired look. And that pretty much concludes the way I would use DaVinci Resolve to create a single picture and picture window. If I wanted to create another one, I could do the same, drag some more footage in the timeline, or I could duplicate this particular footage and then click on it click on effects and change it to another position. And now we have a, another picture in picture window and also change the position using the X, Y parameters. And because they're a little bit large side by side, I'm going to use the Z position 
in order to make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to click back on the original layer and make that one a little bit smaller. And I can continue with that to make as many picture and picture windows over the top of my video as I like. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. As always, if you have any questions about the content you've seen here today, feel free to put those questions in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to answer you as soon as possible. See you on the next one. Bye for now.